we got to just check out with Orange Tree. They reached out to me and I'm so grateful to the companies that um, support the channel by providing instruments and Orange Tree said, you know, we want to send you this new guitar uh, that we have out. You don't have to even do anything with it, you know, but uh, we just wanted to see what you think about it. It's kind of like what they call an offset kind of a guitar. It's, sh it's a shorter guitar, links in the description. Okay, so it's got one NKI. And so let's just go through, and just have some fun with this. Now this does absolutely sound like a guitar. Let me make sure, I'm, yeah, I'm in the right place. And this is just the default. So let's just drop down uh, some of the snapshots here. Yeah. Yeah, and you've got the 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 strums down here. And Rick Beato did a cool video about the uh, James Bond chord. Yeah, so I've got a, I don't know exactly. It's something kind of like that. And the scripting makes it so playable. I think that's what uh, sets apart a lot of sample libraries is when uh, they can get the scripting down. So when you're playing it, you're not you're not really thinking about it. You're just enjoying the experience. <laughs> Listen to that. Yeah, that's cool. And we've got um, <laughs> we've got all kinds of stuff going on. You've got an entire effects rack uh, full of stuff that you can just dive into. And what I think is cool is this macro page where you can just assign velocity ranges to different plane styles. And this is uh, what shows up in a lot of these. Just so thick. Uh, but let's just keep going down through some of these. Yeah, listen when I do those transitions. You know, Fred, I'm not sure if it has swells, but I think um, I think you might be able to do that, get into that with some of the expression. Let's see what else they've got hiding down here. Yeah, so we've got, um, oh my goodness, I didn't even see a lot of these. Um, so you've got all of these different articulations that are mappable power chords, slides, hammer-ons, squeals. And I'm gonna have to look into that fret uh, because that's something like, you know, like those volume swells where you're, where you can kind of get those uh, really nice um, expressive things. Yeah, the hammer-ons are velocity sensitive. Um, let's see. Let's do some of this. Wow. And they're just really, um, really leaning into just like these, this huge pedal board of effects here. Let's see, there was a couple of these, um, yeah, look at all of these. 
It's incredible. So frozen timeline. And most of these are sustains. Let's see, let's see if we can do a, um, let's see if we can find. And let's see, let's just uh, map this. Okay, so you can map it to um, velocity or to key switches. dial that range in so this is like 85 to 127 and then we can just kind of bring this down so it goes off at like 86 just little grace notes um, and then we can squeal it yeah let's put the let's put the squeal let's put the squeal up there and we'll map that to velocity. See, we can map this to any controller. You can even map it to the sustain pedal. Um, I just like using velocity in a way because it lets me kind of connect. Here's your squeal. You can just go as deep as you want with uh, all of these different things. Let's see, uh, Electric Mayhem. Let's just let's see what this is. Yeah, so we've got sustains and mute. That's wild. That's wild. Okay, let's see. Little amp overload. Yeah, and the and the Lots of lots of fun things, and there is a song that I'm working on releasing that I used some of the rock guitars on uh, in another library. So look for uh, that to come out. So did I already do Electric Mayhem? And the cool thing is, these are guitar players that are putting these instruments together. So they're they're approaching them from the sensibilities of um, you know getting the guitar sound set up. Um, like they would play uh, if they if they had it themselves. It's just really cool. Gasoline fire. Okay. Ooh, look at this. Okay, so we've got the squeal up there at the really high velocities. Let's just take a look. Yeah, and you lay into it, then you get this, and listen to that. I love the transition sounds when you're going. The notes are kind of connected. Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Let's see. There was a couple. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So this is called double tracked intro. And oh, cool. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, David. Okay, I don't see any feedback. Yeah, I'm doing it with the pitch. 
And let's see, we've got, uh, let's see if we can just map a couple of these, like the slide ends, and let's map it to velocity. And let's map it to the top. That way we can just kind of um, dig into it. And I don't know why 85 or 86 is a good, uh, it's kind of like a neat slide and then uh, we can do the hammer ends and do the same thing let's just bring it up to that 86 and unmap the And the thing is, you can just explore and experiment with um, <clears throat> how to map these um, articulations. So let's see. Um, so this is green mirror. Let's see. So we got palm mutes and. Now listen to that. I'm just going to hold on to that. hear how it kind of breaks down a little bit. Yeah, and you just let it go. I'm really liking this, the tone of this. It just, it's got a different, it's got a different uh, tone to it. Uh, <laughs> Hair of the dog. Everything Orange Tree does, uh, they do it with just such a uh, beautiful quality about it. I love that. Yeah, Jeremiah, always, always, you know, always, you know, that's the thing, uh, you know, with the way that life is, it's just like everything that you're going to see on the channel, it's it's like it's just going to be right out of the box. Uh, a lot of times I'm hearing it at the same time you're hearing it. And so it, that's what makes it uh, <laughs> that's what makes it kind of uh uh, adventurous and fun and exciting and a, and a little um, little terrifying at the same time. But that's where we find inspiration. We find inspiration in the moments of the unknown. And the thing is, a lot with these contact developers, they build in and are able to construct their effects. And I think. Uh, that is what we're hearing as part of the sound is these wonderful effects uh, chains that they've uh, given us. So let's see. 
let's just check out a couple more of these. And uh, and then when we have these chords. You got these trigger notes down here, upstroke and downstroke. And let me just go back um, in the setup tab. Yeah, so it's got um, oh, wow. So we've got settings for the um, guitar pickup, and okay, yeah. So we it's like a mixer. Okay, so the pickup, let me let me just go to the default. Let's see if we got an init. Do we have an init? Um, let me just open this back up and let's just drop back the init. So this is like the init patch here. And let's go back to that setup here. And then we've got uh, the guitar pickup. And then standard or an enhanced signal, we can go single, double tracking, and it can pan, or we can assign that to separate outputs. And that's cool. Multi-track harmonization. Humanization, I mean. So that means they're playing not necessarily in sync together. So it's just like actually you're hearing two different players playing. Yeah, and let me just go into, um, let's see, one of these. Um, wow, look at this. We've got more. Um, wow, we've got more of these. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. So the guys put the, did the hard work for us. Um, they did the hard work for us, yeah. Let's see, let's go. And we've got strums, and you've got like a bank of strums that you can create yourself, and then plus we have, um, we have just some uh, strumming presets here, like folksy, and we can trigger that. So it just gives it a little more realism, and we we can we can put um, different patterns on these. We can just load different presets here. Um, so and we can assign these to key switches. So you can see the green key switches lighting up here. Yeah. So two by the river and three. So we can assign up to six different uh, strumming patterns to key switches, and you can you can develop your own. Uh, you can just draw your own patterns in. So they give you just a lot of power. And their engine, uh, they just updated the entire engine so across the board. So all of their guitars and instruments uh, have kind of like the same uh, playback engine, and I think that's really cool. Okay, so let's just uh, pull up one more. And then, you know, you've got, um, you know, settings for chords and all kinds of stuff uh, and pick modeling. So they, they're actually doing some, um, you know, physical modeling of like the like the picking sounds. And, you know, they've just gone into such detail with what they've got here. Let's see. Frozen timeline. Let's pull up. Um, Pull up the harmonics here. All of these, um, all of these presets they give us. It's a very bright sounding guitar.